I'm a little surprised that they haven't been in on Harper. But believe me, they spend the numbers, and I'm just saying financial numbers, on these things. And obviously, they don't think he fits. They don't, they don't think he fits. And also, there's something, there's the elephant in the room that nobody really wants to talk about, because I'm not sure it's his fault. But he's been on an exceptional team pretty much his entire career. Not one playoff series win. Not one. And the Yankees are built to win championships. All right? They know they can win 100 games without Machado and without Harper. They did it last year. The idea is, will this guy come to play in the postseason? And he has not been a great postseason performer. Now, I'm not going to blame him for it, but if you're a postseason team and you want to win a championship, does it make sense to spend all that money on a guy that's never had a lot of success in the postseason? It is. It's a pretty important part when you come to the Yankees. Now, in terms of Machado, John Heyman reporting that the White Sox have not changed off their original seven-year deal. Okay. So if, in fact, it's seven years for, uh, I don't know, whatever it is, 230, 240, I think the Yankees are missing the boat. As much as I love Andujar, they're missing the boat. If you could get Machado for seven years, he's out of your hair. I shouldn't use that phrase. It sounds like you don't want him. But he's not a Yankee at the age of 33. He's done at 33. You can't tell me that his prime won't last till 33. I think the Yankees just have a bug up there, you know what. Excuse me? Over long-term contracts. But that's not a long-term contract. At the age of 26, it's not. But it, it's still long. Right. Now, they were burned what? on it. <laughs> they were burned on it by Ellsbury. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to say they were burned on it by Stanton, but maybe maybe if they had to do Stan all over again, they wouldn't have done it. I wonder, because now they've got they, they made a trade for him. Okay, he wasn't a free agent, but they still have to pay a lot of money. Uh, Ten years. I'm wondering if this is all a comment on if they could go back in time, they wouldn't have made the trade with Miami. No, I don't think so, because I think that because they made that trade with Miami, that's why they're not in on either of these two guys. That's their big money guy. And if you put them oh. up against a wall, who would you want? Stanton, Harper, Machado. You choose which one. Who would you want? Well, it wouldn't be Stanton. Might well, be third. It's still, it's still a mistake then. Like, they did it because uh, I guess they looked at it at the time and said, we're not giving up anything for this guy, that we're going to put Stanton above Harper and Machado. And based off of last year, since they didn't win and he wasn't great in the postseason... But time will eventually tell. What, right. what, if, what if Machado goes to Chicago and spends the next, you know, seven years there, and they're, they're a 65-win team, and he's okay? Harper goes back to Washington, and they continue to go to the playoffs every year and lose. And the Yankees win three championships in the next five years with Stanton, and then then they won. But to me, they made a choice to stand. They don't want to play these reindeer games with the years. I think that's what it comes down now, to. Now, a lot of people are saying they're not going after Machado and Harper because then they're being somewhat... Uh, cheap, cheap, penny pinching, whatever. But the Yankees have the third highest payroll in the majors, and they are already over the the tax threshold with the signing of DJ Lemayu. So they're over the threshold. The only two teams that have a higher payroll than them: the Red Sox at 225, the Cubs at 205, and the Cubs they desperately want Harper, desperately. Their ownership says, no, you right. spent enough. They don't want to go any further on the cap. I think that once the players agree to a tax threshold, that, in essence, is putting an artificial cap for big teams. Because why should the Yankees subsidize other teams with taxes? Right. That's what they're, that's I what they're doing. I think they're being fiscally responsible. Plus, they probably, is it possible they just don't want to add a Boris client? Now, I don't know how Boris affects you once you sign him. No, it doesn't affect you at all. If you're the Yankees, it does. Unless they just don't like the guy and they don't want to put any money in his pocket. I don't know. It's a different world, man. And we don't and we'll find out over time whether it's a better world. But this is not the George Steinbrenner Yankees anymore. They are fiscally responsible. I'll never call them cheap because look at their payroll. Look at you know, they spend a lot of money on scouting. Look at what they've done internationally with their money. The Yankees are not cheap. But they are playing with a fiscal responsibility that George never did. George would be red hot losing to the Red Sox and would make sure that they had a higher payroll than Boston. He'd be after Machado and Harper. But we don't live in that world anymore. And you know what? Nobody does. Those, they don't exist in sports anymore, really. Because the other sports have caps, which make it difficult to do. And who doesn't in baseball anymore? Not too many.